Lamb Lion, Dr. K. Girish. I am a physician, neurophysician and neurosurgeon. I am also the past district governor of 324K as well as the past multiple council chairman of multiple 324. Well, I would like to address you all on the who is a model club president. In the hierarchy of lionism, you will find president of the club, number one. First, of course, is a member, then comes the president. And after the president, you have the zone chairman, the region chairman, then vice governor, district governor, then goes the multiple council chairman, international director, then the vice president and president. So this is the hierarchy and president of the club is a very, very important position which one attains. Now let's see who is a model club president. He is the head of the club, the president. He is the chief executive officer of a club. He has fixed achievable goals for the whole year. The fundraising, the membership growth, service projects, extension, all these should be planned very well when before even he takes the post of the president. Very, very important. The annual program, planning, the club budget, along with his treasurer and others, he should in fact discuss and make a very, very good program before even he takes up the position of the president. I say he is a chief executive officer, but all his decisions, the president that he takes, will be the, the decision of the majority of the members of the club, which the president will reflect. This is very, very important. And any major decisions he has to take, he should always fall back on the board of members or the board of directors. The club president presides in all the club meetings. Extremely important. He attends all meetings with a fully prepared agenda. Then welcomes the members and the guests. President conducts the proceedings of the club meetings. And the president also appoints the club committees soon after the installation. And he also arranges a separate schooling for the club committee members. Uh, like uh, you have the health committee member, finance committee member, then uh, various other projects. Suppose you've got a temporary project or an ongoing project for that uh, uh, chairman will be there for that particular committee. So like that, he has several committees and these committees, uh, the, uh, the vice president, he'll delegate it to the vice president. There'll be two vice presidents and he will delegate to them to supervise the functioning of these committees. President collects the monthly reports from the committees and ensures the proper functioning of each committee. And any func committee which is non-functioning, the president has every right, in fact, to remove them, discuss with them, but all the more he should motivate them. And also contacts every month a board of directors meeting without fail. And uh, any new project, upcoming projects, any other decisions should be always with discussion with the board of directors. And he, the president ensures the presentation of the monthly club account statements, very important. And uh, president decides on the policy matters in the board after the discussion. And president informs the decisions of the board to all the members. The minutes of the, the proceeding should be informed to the members. And president also attends all the governor's zone advisory meeting, very, very important meeting uh, with the secretary, treasurer and the first vice president. And the president has got a duty of motivating all members to wear the lion's lapel pin, which is extremely important. The, it, you know, it, it should worn with a real pride, actually. You know, the pride comes that you are, you are looked in the society as a person who is in fact doing service to the community and you want to make the world a better place to live in. The president should take care, you know, of providing interesting and varied programs. He should plan accordingly in discussion with the other members. President pays special attention to the dinner following the meeting and also the menu, etc. is being prepared properly. And also, President has got a very important role of sending personal birthday and wedding day greetings 
to the members. And uh, it is a bounded duty of the president. He can delegate a member, in fact, to inform the, all the other members about the activities that are about to take place. And also in every meeting, the president should highlight what all activities that have taken place, especially to those members who have not attended uh, the, those activities. And president should ensure a higher percentage of attendance. And if there is an absentee, uh, somebody is repeatedly getting absent, the president should see why he is absent, talk to him or even call on him and ask him exactly what is the problem. And if there is any personal problem, person, president on behalf of the club and extend help to the members. President initiates appropriate actions also to rectify. That's what exactly I'm telling. And he visits the chronic absentees at their home with a team and persuades them to attend the meeting regularly. President besides arranges a leadership development seminar for the board and the committee chairpersons. President also encourages members to host the board meeting at their residence and foster more fellowships. They can have potluck dinner. This is again very important. So you find the bondage amongst the members becomes very good. President motivates for a successful fundraising program if it's essential and uh, he clears the international and district bills in advance. President should motivate the members to pay in advance and clears all those bills. President gives chances to speak and act as many members as possible. In a meeting, President should see that he is not the only one who keeps on talking, but he should see that he should ask the members to air their views. And if any member has got anything in special what they are doing either in their profession or what against in the form of a charity or any other trips which they have made or they want to convey a message, give them the right opportunity in fact to talk so that everybody will feel you know that they are part of the club. President consults the past presidents and vice presidents very often if there is any uh, issue and also even if there is no issue he can always talk with the past presidents and vice presidents. President always sorts out any personal rivalry or confrontation among the members. He just nips it at the bud itself so that there is no groupism or click. And also president publishes a comprehensive club directory with a short history of the club, its past achievements, biodata, photo and address of members. President gives members ample opportunities to reveal their talent. Now, each one of these members may be talented in one form or other. So, the meetings should give, either the family meetings or their own regular meetings, they should give ample opportunity for them to relieve their talents. Not only in the uh, club meetings, but also he can take it to the district in a zonal meeting or even in a region meeting, they can actually show their talents. President earns enough knowledge about the club district and lionism. President publicizes the club activities in a very dignified manner. You have a website of the club activity, you can actually publish it. Now, why should you publish? Why, whenever we do an activity, why are the photographs being taken? And why do you think, is it not for publicity? It's just not for sheer publicity. It is actually telling the society as to what uh, uh, that is dignified service activities we are doing for the needy in the community. And the other thing is to motivate more members or the new members exactly to tell them, yes, this is what we are doing to the uh, public and we should have proper documentation too so that the future members when they visit a club or when they join the club, they will know what were the activities carried out by this particular club or rather the zone or the region or the district. President keeps good contact with the government officials for public welfare. Recognizes even the smallest contribution of every member. President checks up the agenda, the attendance register, the WMMR which is to be sent very regularly, chairpersons reports, subscription books, arrears list, minutes etc. before each meeting. President receives, you know, the president in fact receives. Whenever meeting before it receives, in fact he should receive all the members wishes all the members, shake hands with the members or say namaste and he does everything for fostering friendship among the members, does everything to make new members at home and acclimatized 
and checks up the minutes of the previous meeting before it is being presented at the meeting and is prepared to clear doubts. He does not violate decisions taken at the board. That's extremely important. Makes no commitment without the approval of the board of directors. So any decision by the president, any announcements by the president or anything other than an emergency always has to discuss with the board of directors and does everything to increase the club attendance and observes all calendar of events in letter and spirit. He implements all the international, that is projects, the district programs, etc. It will be put in his annual planner. He should have how to implement them. He also perpetuates his period with at least a worthy permanent project. That's very important. You can have ongoing project. You can have a permanent project. But the permanent project, it may be for a school or it may be um, uh, the uh, uh, which may be or the catering like a, a eye hospital or an eye clinic or something like that. These are all some permanent projects which can be thought of uh, by the club. So all these, the president, the president's period is only for one year and that year he has to make it very, very lively. President motivates for more and more of family participation. Now this again is a very, very important phenomenon because it has been found that whichever clubs where the family gets involved, there is a family gathering, there is an entertainment for the family as well as the next kith and kin. You usually find those clubs remain very strong, retention is quite good. So, President should motivate more and more family participation. President consults all the concerns before taking a final decision. That is very, very important. President arranges for picnics, tours and for inter-club meetings, inter-district club meetings, etc. And president index no member without getting the entrance and other fees as what is stipulated by the club policy. President does not violate or allow to violate rules, regulations and time-tested good traditions. So, he should see that the club adheres to the, the code of ethics of Lions Clubs International. President sponsors personally at least one or two new quality members. Now, every it is the job of or it is a duty of every member to bring in at least one member every year. So, president should take the initiative. He keeps the past presidents too busy with assignments, inducting, responding, introducing, etc. So, he should give some role for the past presidents too. So, they are also kept active. Otherwise, some of the past presidents feel, I don't think why I should go to the club. No, keep them engaged. President starts and closes the meeting on time and announces the term items in the agenda at the beginning itself. He follows the agenda as closely as possible. President makes the club meetings very interesting and homely so that a firm bondage can be built. President invites eminent and interesting speakers, then with of course consultation with the members, arranges inexpensive but interesting entertainment and follows accepted rules of the parliamentary procedures in organizing. So you should know about the uh, Roberts Rules of Order for which every member should be aware about it, how to conduct the meetings in a very orderly fashion. Avoid gossiping and discussions on political, religious, communal or any other controversial topics. As far as possible, avoid that. Make it very enjoyable. President keeps things moving by avoiding lengthy explanation, long speeches, detailed explanations and discussions which might be a little boring. President does not permit debates to become very aggressive, you should intervene immediately and does not allow more than one to speak at a time. President does not allow any cross talk among members during discussion. In a meeting, if anybody wants to say, they can raise their hand and stand up and then the president gives him an opportunity and then what he can say, he hears his views. Somebody has got controversial or something else to say against that particular, he should actually raise his hand and address the president himself and not to the other member. This is again very, very important. It's a part of the Roberts Rules of Order. President listens carefully what is said by others, keeps eyes open and watches the mood and expression of the members, uses his authority firmly but very politely, handles business by a general consent, keeps discipline and decorum in the meetings. Thanks even for the smallest piece of service, a very small service being done, appreciate him, very, very important. President observes the official protocol and makes others also observe. He gives every member a chance to air or ventilate his views. President allows no one to feel that he has been left out. President greets every member 
whenever or wherever he meets. President honors news reporters for giving good coverage to the club news. So some important uh, uh, the charity services being done and if it is covered by the press, he should call them, invite them to the club and see that uh, they are being appreciated. Leaves no debt to the successors, involves all new members, attends the PST seminar which takes place every year, conducted at the district, attends zonal level club officials meet, attends seminars and workshops conducted by the district chairpersons. President lends a helping hand to the incoming team. President gets things done not by command but by request. Very important. And no, the question is of respecting everyone. If each one and everyone respects each other, then I think there will be in any problem as far as any club is concerned. One of the most important thing that every human being, there's an inherent quality that they have to be respected. That's an inherent value or inherent quality of a human being that you have to be respected. It's called the dignity. And if that is being done, that respect, mutual respect is there, then there isn't anything to worry. President exhibits politeness and affection in words and deeds. And president should remain very cool, composed, sober and soft. Praises liberally in the public for the smallest contributions also that have been done. And never say, I did it. He should say, we did it. The club did it. The club members did it. That's very important. President utilizes the experiences and knowledge of his predecessors and the cabinet officers. Believes in his self-ability to lead. President discovers the right way and shows the right way. He is prepared to shoulder any responsibility. And the president uh, will, should remain easily approachable. Any one time anybody contacts the president, if he is even busy, he should call back immediately. President deserves pleasure in working. He is aware of the dignity of simplicity. President exhibits a sense of caring for others. Cultivates patience and tolerance. Tells tactfully what to do and how to do that. President overcomes the shyness and the state of fright. Improves the capacity in public speaking. So all this post is only for one year. And president inspires others. Radiates love and compassion. And manages time very effectively. He discerns the most important and the less important. The necessary and the not so necessary. And president should respect the feelings and views of others. Okay, it's just not that only is my view, it is others, get the opinion from others, go by the majority decision. That's one of the major things what the president has to do. Recognizes and appreciates the job that's well done and president should see that his members during that time wins the maximum awards for the club. Because there are several awards for membership, award for certain service activities, award for certain projects of the international. So see that the club achieves all those awards in that one particular year where his tenure is only for one year. Wins the president's par excellence award given by the international and makes his period very golden and unforgettable. Helps his successor voluntarily. In fact, the president should when he leaves or when he lays down his post on the June 30th, sorry, July, I'm uh, sorry, June 30th, I think at that particular time, people should remember the president's period as a wonderful period and that should be written in golden letters in the history of that particular club. So that is how a president has got to be and that's a model club president. So these are all the roles of a model club president. Presidents. So I wish you all the best, my dear presidents of the clubs, and perform very well and see that your period is a very, very successful period. Thank you. Thank you very much.